everyone. The community tonight remembering the three children and their mother who died on Syracuse's south side. Police say 35-year-old Crystal Savage used a charcoal grill to kill her children and herself inside a car on Sunday. News Channel 9's Josh Martin tonight spoke with those who worked with the children at school. Bus drivers, neighbors, friends, teachers, even strangers. Dozens of people shut down Berwyn Avenue Tuesday to comfort one another. Eight-year-old Ariasi, her sister, seven-year-old Maya, and three-year-old John Savage were all killed here on Sunday. Police believe their mother, 35-year-old Crystal Savage, killed them and took her own life. We're coming together, galvanizing together to make a statement that we care about this neighborhood, we care about our community. Prayers were said for Crystal Savage and her children. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all and for this community now in mourning. It just, it's just, it's just hard to believe. Ari and Maya's bus driver struggling with knowing he's dropped them off for the last time. When they're on the bus, they're my children. <laughs> They're my children, you know, and, and I have, I have to, I'm the one that has to look out for them, make sure that they get to school, you know, safely. Me and my monitor, you know, but other than that, I, I'm, I'm just saddened that this has happened. Mental health was a major topic at Tuesday's vigil. So many in attendance offering their help to those in need. Don't try to go this alone. Reach out for somebody. Those here reached out to Crystal's sister, who's out of state. They help everyone, bus drivers, neighbors, friends, teachers, even strangers, extend a hand to her going forward. In Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. Now, information on how you can help the family will be finalized in the coming days.